I feel sorrow. Now a deep breath from my lungs that sees all the pain from what I have become. She's how old? She said what? Where's her mother? I sat there and cried with a dozen forget-me-nots, but the forgetful have never forgot. She's very much a little girl. You don't expect this stuff from her. Some of the poems are about rape, some of the poems about murder, not being loved, loneliness. I just want to run on stage and dropkick her because I'm like, man, I wish I would have wrote that first. My name is Keanu Marshall, AKA Popcorn, and I am 12 years old. That little girl is the truth. My dad taught me poetry. He calls me popcorn a lot because he says I'm soft on the outside and hard-headed on the inside. I started writing poems when I was either six or seven, and my dad wanted me to do it. She needed um something, some way to channel that, uh, that need for attention. My first poem was the little girl poem about like bubbles flying away or a man losing his hat. Well, I wasn't really trying to get an emotion across. I was just trying to make it rhyme because that's what I knew was actually a poem. When I went to the Queen's Library, I heard the adult version of poetry. And at first I said, this sounds pretty boring, but then I started to like it. I decided to step up my game. Most of the young poets that I run into, they have the same formula for writing. Popcorn doesn't sound like anyone. She found her own voice. She knows what she wants to say and how she wants to say it. I wash away the tears and bruises you left on my face. The names you called me still tingle in front of my mind as you tell me you love me. This girl is wise beyond her years. It took me a while to get what was happening with Kiani in the poetry because she's very much a little girl. Like, you don't expect this stuff from her. I absolutely feel that she'd be grabbing certain things about us both. You rub my heart bruises with peacock-scented lotion, and the other scent you force out of your mouth every time you smack. I've performed in my poetry for dozens of times, actually. After I finished my poems, a lot of people want to invite me to their forums and want to have me at their workshops. I will be performing at the New York and Poets Cafe. I think it's going to be pretty exciting, pretty psyched about it. New York is like the Apollo for poets. Some seasoned artists have him featured at the New York Poets Cafe. And here you have Popcorn, a young kid. As far as New York City goes, it's the epitome of like the grand stage. I am nervous. <laughs> I'm thinking of two pieces that I would like to perform, but I'm going to write two or three more poems. Well, I have two poems that I would like to read to you. I have one old poem and one new poem. It's called Glacier. There is a cold war against my heart for control of my body. Kiani is sometimes aware of grievances people have in their lives. She has the amazing ability to tap into a particular emotion even though she hasn't herself gone through it. I wrote about rape, murder, abuse, not being loved, loneliness, being enclosed, feeling trapped. The fact that she's willing to take that and show emotion, even though she's never been through it, is ridiculous. It's insane. When it comes to life, for many years going back with Popcorn, we don't keep her in the dark. And I might explain why the poetry is so dark sometimes. I do think I uh, think about things that other children my age do not think about because I take the time to pick out certain details and not stop thinking about it till I get an answer, and a lot of times I don't. My glacier is reborn and my heart has been sealed. My feelings, hushed. That poem, I, that's the one I really like. That's the one you read uh, two weeks ago at Urban Juke Joint, and I like that. Oh yeah, that was the one. The crowd enjoyed it a lot. This is a new poem called Revealed. There is a dead flower in my heart. There is no water to save me from this destiny of solitude and death. Like a desert in my soul, I am I showed some of my friends in the third grade a poetry book, and they said, you didn't write that, it's too good. I decided I'm not gonna share my poetry with them anymore. It's too embarrassing, I don't want them to know how they respond or think about me differently. 
my poems that helped me after I finished writing them because they released a lot of the anger that I feel. Maybe even more than tears. And my mind will stay captured inside of this cage until death finds the time. The tone, the delivery, even maybe the subject matter for each poem is the same. Now, I can very much be impressed by their first one, but now the second one seems similar, then I'm a little less impressed. If I can get some diversity, I would appreciate it more. I will never be one of them American Idol parents. If my child is not up to par, I'll let them know. My dad definitely pushes me. He pushes me when, when it comes to my poetry, um, going to different performances, and he likes to call himself my manager, even though I already fired him. I was, of course, very, very nervous. It was my first time performing poetry, and I just continued to be nervous after that, and even now, I'm still nervous because it's, it's like the adrenaline is running, and you don't know how the crowd will feel, you don't know how the crowd will go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the New York Poets Cafe. First person coming up. She's been doing this a very long time and she's only 12 years old. Put your hands together, make a lot of noise for Miss Popcorn. Clap, 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 clap. So the first poem that I want to do today is called Scraps. What do you think when you see my smile? The nose of the father that left you with the child? Or is it my brown eyes that will never be yours? Is that the reason I've been feeding off scraps of love ever since you left? Looking for a place to starve off my hunger that you never fed. Walking on thin ice that should have been yours, but you left me then. Forgetting in that hospital room that the only person I came from was you and nonstop talk about it if you didn't do that before. I wouldn't have been born into the situation where I have nothing to lose cause I'm always feeding off scraps of love at the dining room table. But see, I'm older. Don't act like I never told you that we're over. I don't wait by my bedside hoping for a kiss. I don't roll over in bed because I never got my wish. I don't pretend to my friends that my mother loves me more. I just wondered what it would be like to have a dad without the ruckus and the scraps. I just don't want to have to ask, Mom, can I please not be my father? Thank you. Initially, when she started performing scraps, I had some concern that how the poem would be received by strangers. I was able to put that concern to the side and said, um, that's her art form, that's the way she chooses to express herself. And if someone can hear that poem and they can relate, then so be it. I think that helped me deal with it better that way. I think I would be satisfied if Kiani was able to do this on any level because she wanted to do it and she had the desire to do it because I know it's going to save her during those times in her life where she's going to need to rely on something that she can rely on herself. I believe that poetry should be freestyle, free written um, because the more free it is, like the more space a bird has to fly and the higher it can fly, the higher it will probably fly. Love, I wash away the tears and bruises you left on my face. The names you called me still tingle in front of my mind as you tell me you love me.